We come to my presentation. My name is Mehmet Bakci and on behalf of the authors I present uh, to you today our contribution to LREC 2022 GERPA Core. GERPA Core is a parliamentary corpus of German-speaking parliaments on national and federal level is the currently largest German language parliamentary corpus and includes the protocols of pl plenary sessions. In my short talk, I would like to explain how the corpus, which is available for download from the Test National Relab of the University of Frankfurt, was created and how the pre-processing was performed. GERPA Core includes German language parliamentary protocols from three centuries and four countries of state uh, and federal level of data. For this reason, GERPA Core close the gap of large and partly unexploited treasure trove of publicly accessible tags. As a result, GERPA Core is the largest generally specific corpus. However, some documents in GERPA Core contain scan protocols and some of them are in fracture. For this reason, we use Tesseract, which is an OCR process. All documents are pre-processed with SPACI3 using the text imager. The extraction also includes metadata like the session number and actual date. GERPA Core is publicly available as annotated Apache UIMA XME documents and is updated periodically with new parliamentary protocols. This is an XME sample. The first two lines show some meta information like the actual date, the session number and more, which can be used for different approaches. The line 4 shows the sentence annotation and line 6 to 15 shows an expert of the lemma annotation and line 17 to 19 an expert from token annotations. Within the relation of CAST documents, references can be recognized which are specific via the IDs of the respective attributes. In line 21, the morphology annotation is given for the tokens in line 17. The lines 23 and 24 show an expert of dependency annotation for the sentences. The statistics tables show the parliamentary protocols of regional and national parliaments included in GERPA core with some meta information like period, the number of sessions, the number of sentences and the number of tokens. The number of sentences and tokens are defined with spaces. As we mentioned, the parliamentary protocols are divided between four countries, Germany, Liechtenstein, Austria and Switzerland. We will update the parliamentary protocols with the meta information. With the flowchart, I will show you the workflow of our downloading, extraction and NLP preprocessing. In the first step, we download all PDFs from the parliamentary protocols. The parliamentary protocols needs an uh, own downloader for every parliament because the parliaments have their own access to their PDFs. For this reason, uh, the downloaders are available in our GitHub link. Like we mentioned before, so, uh, some of uh, the protocols contain scanned protocols. For this reason, we divide the downloaded PDFs into readable and scanned documents because both, process, both PDFs need another process for the extraction. Uh, the readable PDFs will be extracted with a PDF reader. The scanned documents will be extracted with an OCR process, optical character recognition via Tesseract. Tesseract, we use Tesseract because it also uh, contains German and fracture. For an OCR process, we must convert every page into a picture. After that, we divide the pictures into good quality and bad quality, because by bad quality pictures, Tesseract recommends some processes. Uh, we have an example here for fracture. Bemerkung des Präsidenten über die Behandlung der Mitglieder des Langtags durch amtliche Stellen. Every bad picture will be scaled, um, decolorized, alloyed, displayed, and remove the noises. So the OCR process can read it better and get the actual text of the documents. Now it's possible to extract every picture with Tesseract to get the 
tags of the actual document. Now we can use Spacey 3 via Text Manager to pre-process every document, every extracted uh, text of the scan and readable protocols. An OCR process is not perfect. For this reason, we, use an, uh, we will use a spell checker to um, check the quality of every document that we extracted with SimSpell. This table shows us the OCR results with SimSpell. We have only the parlaments which contain scan protocols with their periods. SimSpell has, uh, can only work with a combination of letters and numbers. For this reason, we skipped all the words, words which are not a combination of letters and numbers. Um, we have an example here. If the, the actual word is Lantax and the OCR process read uh, Lantax, we increase the number of right words because SimSpell will uh, also have the same output. If we have as uh, if the OCR process read Lantax 3, in the most cases uh, the OCR process will be uh, switch the S with 3 the output will be LANTAX. For this reason, the output and the input are integral to each other. In this case, we increase the number of wrong words. However, if we read, uh, if we have many mistakes by the OCR process reading, the output will be empty from the ZIM spell, and for this reason, we increase the number of right words. The good quality includes only the right words and the wrong words. The unknown good quality include all the words which are not skipped. The Parliament Saxon has the best good quality with uh, over 95% which only includes the right and wrong words. However, the Parliament Northern Westfalen has the best OCR unknown good quality which includes all the checked words because Saxon have more unknown words. How, um, in our case, the versus the good quality and the unknown good quality is not under 85%. For this reason, the Kappa core are suited to support NLP approaches. We have some feature works to do for Kappa core, like an automatic updater which detect new protocols and download, extract, and NLP preprocess them. Uh, also, the accenting of GAPA core with other, other parliamentary documents would be good. However, in this case, we need an automatic downloader for this, for this parliament, because each parliament has their own downloader. And also an implementation of web-based search portal for searching and extraction uh, of the protocols in different subsets and formats uh, will be needed. This process can be enabled with the UIMA database interface. In, uh, previously we said that the OCR process is not perfect. For this reason we want a trained model which predicts the unknown words. This uh, trained model can use the context and also the misspelled word to predict the no unknown word. On the left side, you can see our poster for LREC 2022 in Marseille. This poster includes all the important facts and results what we collected for GAPA Core. The GAPA Core is publicly available at our website, Technology website. Uh, the implementation for, uh, for GAPA Core is publicly available in our GitHub link. You can also use the QR code which is represented here. Thank you for your attention. We see us at the LREC 2022.